get checked before they go into the amplifiers. They get checked once the amplifier is built. The amplifiers then go into the burning rack where they get tortured for uh, two hours at their worst power capability. Is that exclusively for just uh, making sure that it's solid and not going to fail on something? Or is there, does that like settle things in or what's the deal? No, no. It's just to make sure that it's built right. Okay. So what we're looking for is power transistors that aren't quite mounted right or some part that's shaky and might fail. Uh, the fallout rate is very low in the burning rack, but it is significant. It, without it, our failure rate in the field would be greater. You know, most wow. failures happen within the first few days. So we exercise them before we ship them. So in some ways, every amp is a little bit used. Yeah. <laughs> when they leave the torture rack, and they make their way down the line. These are fusions. They're just past burning. And they get tested here again for UL requirements. This is another thing that GK does. Every GK amplifier is UL approved. Well, or CSA approved, either one. But that's a national standard highly regarded worldwide. In fact, we passed the safety requirements for 15 different countries. Uh, one of the few country companies to do that. And this is part of the testing that's required to meet their safety requirements. Once they pass this, then another computer system, and same one that's down there, and we test everything again after burning to make sure that everything's working right and it's in a, uh, a room that's, you know, has reduced sound in it so they can also listen, you know, for weird noises. Yeah. Are they running the same diagnostic test, like the tolerances of the... Yeah, same really? test. Same test happens three times. Everything is tested three times. Stuff goes out the door pretty solid. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. And uh, when they leave here, they get packed, they get put on pallets, and into the inventory. This is where we assemble cabinets. We put the speakers in there. We have... Uh, the RBH cabinets right. are built here, okay. and we assemble them on. We put the speakers in them on this on this line. Are when you say built here, the speakers are are built in in your factory in China, right? The RBH speakers are made by Eminence. Okay, and uh, the cabinets are made in our factory in China, and we do the final assembly. We put all the hard, you know, finish off the cabinets here. Okay, wow. Very cool. Is that what the, the uh, most of the stock is in the warehouse that goes all the way up? Looks like there's cabinets of some sort. Are those mostly RBH cabs? Or? Oh, no. No, those are all the other products that we distribute in the U.S. Okay. So stuff from comes from China, and you end up putting it here before it gets, gets shipped out? Yeah. Okay. It, it would, actually, everything from China comes down our assembly line as well. It's inspected. Gets a second check. Is that right? Yeah. The same thing we just looked at? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Even though we have more QA in China than we have here. Are they running those tests in China too? Oh yeah, same. It's the same. It's the same manufacturing philosophy, same training. We use the same procedures, uh, but we have because labor is cheaper in China, we can do more inspection. We have twice as many inspection people in China than we have here. So the quality of the stuff that's coming from your overseas. Factory is as high as it's it is. Excellent. Yeah. It's wow. excellent. 